in with Madison. Hey there! Are you ready to hear a story? This book is being read with permission from Simon and Schuster. When Langston Dances, written by Kaija Langley and illustrated by Keith Mallett. Langston liked basketball, but he adored ballet. He fell in love the first time his mother took him to see the Alvin Ailey Dance Company. So many bodies soaring across the stage, spinning, leaping, twirling dancers everywhere. Do you think I can dance like that? Langston asked his mother. You can do whatever you set your mind to doing, his mother said. From that day forward, Langston practiced in front of his bedroom mirror. Finally, one Saturday morning, he felt ready for his first day of school. Today is the day I dance, he told his mother as he double tied his sneakers. And you can dance to your heart's content, his mother said. On the way to his new school, Langston told everyone he met, watch me dance. He dipped for the mail carrier putting letters in the box and kicked for the police officer helping them across the street and spun for the barber sweeping his sidewalk. Langston waited for his applause. Instead, a kid passing by said, boys don't dance like that. Langston huddled closer to his mother, but he replied, they do too. I've seen them. When he arrived at Miss Mary's dance studio, Langston felt nervous. Would the other students like the way he moved? Was he dressed properly in his basketball shorts and sneakers? A gentle push from his mother and Langston set off to find his class. The first room was a class of students learning how to tap. Shuffle, shuffle, tap, tap, shuffle, shuffle, tap. Langston wandered to the next class. He felt the boom from the music beneath his feet as students practiced hip hop dance. Another class of students clapped their hands and stomped their feet, keeping rhythm with a man beating a drum. They were learning African dance. In the last classroom, the music was so quiet Langston could barely hear it. He watched excitedly as little girls stood in a line along the bar in front of a mirror and practiced the ballet positions as the teacher called them out. First position, she called. When the girls moved their feet into the shape of a V, Hankston held on to the door frame and followed their lead. Second position, the teacher announced next. When the class slid one foot away, so did Langston. Finally, Langston kicked off his sneakers and darted into the class to take his place at the bar. He closed his eyes and remembered the Alvin Ailey dancers. The teacher clapped her hands to bring the class to attention. Langston opened his eyes and realized he stood alone in front of the mirror. Welcome to ballet. I am Miss Marie, said the teacher. I've been expecting you, Langston. Langston took a bow. In this class, we wear shoes. Miss Marie floated gracefully toward a closet. She rummaged through a box and mumbled, no, 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 before exclaiming, yes. She handed Langston a pair of black ballet slippers. They were different from the other students' slippers, but he tried them on with delight. They fit him perfectly. Overjoyed, Langston took off running and leaping across the room. He spun and jumped, dipped and kicked. The girls gasped in wonder. Miss Marie nodded her approval. Then she clapped her hands again. This is serious business. You must work very hard to be a ballet dancer. You'll have to earn those shoes, you know. I will, Langston said, standing taller than before. The class lined up again along the mirror and Langston took his place. He promised to work hard in every class. And Langston danced and danced and danced. The end. Okay, thumbs up if you enjoyed the book. Nice. If you would like to purchase this book for your at-home library, you can click on the link in the description box below to support the talented authors, illustrators, and publishers. Thank you for watching, and remember to hit the subscribe button if you want to hear more read-alouds, 
do some science experiments, watch videos about letters and numbers, and do some really fun arts and crafts projects with me. I'll see you next time. Bye! Thanks for watching.